4.1, we're given an even polynomial and center a, uh, look at its coefficients centered at a, and then we look at its coefficients centered at minus a, and we compare them. So first of all, recall what it means for a polynomial to be even or odd. Um, this polynomial is even, or any function for that matter, um, p of x is equal to, or p of minus x is equal to p of x. Now, the only way that this can happen with a polynomial is if all the coefficients are, or all the um, exponents are even. So, for example, um, p of x equals x to the fourth plus 5x squared um, plus 2 would be an even polynomial, but you know, as soon as I change one of these coefficients to an odd, or, or one of the exponents to an odd, then we're going to run into problems once we put in minus x. So the key to the problem is remembering that uh, all the exponents um, in p of x um, are even. So let's figure out what um, the b, b sub k, and the c sub k, c sub i's look like. So b sub i is be the ith derivative centered at a, or evaluated at a over i factorial. Now here's where uh, it depends on whether i is even or odd. If i is even, then we're going to be taking the derivative an even number of times. Now, each time we take the derivative, we're going to be lowering the, each exponent by 1. So if we do this an even number of times, and we start out with an even number, or with an even exponent, then we're going to end up with an even exponent. So we know that when we look at the c sub i, uh, so that's p, uh, the ith derivative of p, evaluated at minus a over i factorial. If i is even, it's, um, then the i derivative is also going to be even. So this will be uh, equal to i derivative of p evaluated at a over i factorial, which is equal to b sub i if i is even. Now, if i is odd, um, then, well, similarly, each time we take the derivative, we're going from a positive to, or we're going from an even exponent to um, an odd exponent. If we do this an odd number of times, then we're going to end up with all our exponents being odd. So, then ci is going to equal to well, well, it'll be the sa same thing as up here, but since um, i is now an odd function, it's going to equal um, ci is going to be minus p of i times a, or evaluated a over i factorial, which is minus uh, b sub i. Now, the problem also asks you to make a similar statement and prove it if um, p is an odd polynomial. Uh, I won't do that here, but it's going to be pretty much the same argument. You just have to notice that, well, if p is an odd polynomial, then all of the exponents are odd. Then you can see what happens to its derivatives, and we can see what happens to the relationship between b and c depending on whether you take an even number derivative or an odd number derivative.